Hurry! No. Now we walk. Stay close. Stay quiet. As long as we don't bump into any of them, we'll be fine. That worked. Just be glad it did. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. Really? You'd come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Freezing my ass off. Here. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex wife. She was more of a rum girl. Oh, no. It was a mutiny. <laughs> Rojo, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn, man. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? They're growing on me, too. Kind of nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then... a young girl got... taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. I would have gone in alone. If I had another chance. I wouldn't have gone in at all. After my brother... A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I 
think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. <laughs>